A mom lost in the mail. It sounds like a dark joke, but for one family, it's a living nightmare. The cremated ashes of a mother were mailed out of Grand Forks, but her son in Indiana says they never arrived. Valley News Team's Ryan Laughlin tells us what happened and who family members believe should be held responsible. We know the ashes of Mary Mink made it at least this far to the Grand Forks post office, but search the tracking number and it only comes up as dead mail. Now a son wants somebody to take accountability for losing the remains of his mother. I'm devastated, man. It's unbelievable. Donald Mink's mother, Mary, had dementia and was in a nursing home in Cavalier, North Dakota. She got put on hospice on a Monday and passed away on a Thursday. That was back in February. Four months later, he's still waiting to lay her to rest. And my mom would be buried between my grandma and grandpa at Wesley Chapel in Austin, Indiana. Instead, her remains are lost. And my biggest thing is, I don't see how nobody can be held accountable for this. Nobody's taking responsibility. She was sent here to the North Valley Crematory. Then her ashes were sent to the Grand Forks Post Office to be sent to her son in Indiana. Obviously, they didn't know what they were doing. On the U.S. Postal Service website, it lays out guidelines for how human ashes should be shipped. Donald says they didn't follow those rules. The way I understand this is, that did not happen. That box was put into an envelope. He says the envelope was recovered, the contents inside still missing. It's been four months and I just feel like it's never going to be found. The U.S. Postal Service says they are keenly aware of the desire to locate this missing item and are working to do so now. Now, when human remains are shipped, they're usually done so with a sticker that looks like this. That way, everybody knows what is in the package. It's unclear if this was used or if there is any wrongdoing in how this thing was shipped. We'll continue to follow this developing story. From Grand Forks, I'm Ryan Laughlin, Valley News Live. There is a possible civil lawsuit coming. Mink has been in contact with a Fargo attorney.